Following on from my last video about Octavio Rettig, what I noticed was a lot of people were asking in the comments, why? Why does he do this thing where he pours water down people's throats while they're under the influence of 5-MeO DMT? And I've actually got the answer to this because I attended a conference where Octavio was a speaker a few years back where he explained the rationale and the reasoning behind some of his very controversial techniques. And so I thought I'd repost this here to give him a chance to explain it in his own words. Now, I do want to give the credit here to my friend Josh Bloom, who runs the website Newtonian Shamanics. He's the one who arranged this conference and also recorded this footage. Um, so go and check out Josh's website. He interviews all the big names in the psychedelic space, Dennis McKenna, Tim Freak, people I would absolutely love to have the chance to talk to. Josh has already talked to those guys. Go check it out, Newtonian Shamanics. It's a great website. Okay, so back to this. So in this conference, Octavio does a big speech defending his techniques talking about some of his even more controversial techniques of him using an electric stun gun on people while they're under the influence. I have seen that footage, it's not pretty. But yeah, uh, this is his own words. Personally, I don't actually think he does himself any favours here. What he describes is just as bad as what I've seen. Um, but yeah, this is his words. Nobody's twisting anything. So check it out and let me know what you guys think. Is this, is this an unacceptable technique or not? leave some comments below and now without any further ado in his own words here's Octavio Retic. yeah well as you said I'm I am actually a really controversial figure because the way that I work with the medicine but also because there is no way right or wrong way to work with this medicine because there is no tradition so right now we are in some kind of the wild wild wild, wild west anyone is doing whatever they want with this or any other medicines and I, I do believe that it's necessary to have a ritualistic ceremonial uh, approach to the medicines. And in my case, my ceremony is really simple. I just ask to the person to stand in front of the sun, take the medicine and try to stay standing. Because if they do, just like some of the people who, who did that today, the energy start to flow really easy and people can purge. People in the past, didn't know that even the toad can make you really cleanse and it's because of the technique that I use that was showing to me by the medicine through the experience working with the medicine sometimes when people take the the the, 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 the medicine they go and start rolling over the floor but some people adopt this kind of really a strange weird position that they are blocking not only the flux of energy but also the circulation and the breath so then I need to use some kind of techniques to help people to relax and to breathe and so far I haven't seen or found anything so effective as the water because we had these primal reflexes before we were born we were actually we live in a uh, liquid uh, environment. So the breath is the first and the last movement that we are gonna do in this life. But it's normal <coughs> that when people get stuck in the mind, what's happening to me, what's going on, they stop breathing. Not because there is some kind of uh, inhibition of any kind of respiratory uh, uh, region in the body. I haven't seen anyone stop breathing because of the toad medicine, but I've seen people stop breathing because of their own control of the mind. So then I need to do something. So when I put the water and people breathe, I don't put the water into the mouth. I put the water into the nose. So when I do this, people immediately breathe. When they breathe, they relax. When they relax, everything starts to come out easier. Another of the tools that I use for that is a rapé. But sometimes after people take the first dose of the medicine, they don't want to go again because they are terrified of experiencing the same or something worse. But some people need, really need to push themselves to bear, break through completely so they can feel the relief after. Otherwise they will feel, keep and remain feeling unpleasant feelings. So based in my experience, I need to push people until they accomplish the goal that they supposedly 
uh, said before the session. So, sometimes I need to yell, I need to be physical, I need to be vocal to people to say, hey man, I don't care, stand up and do it again. Because it's for their own sake and also for my own peace of mind. Because then I know that people will feel in bad and I will be the responsible of those kind of, of uh, tough processes. Integration in this medicine, it's something that it's also new. No one, we're talking about spontaneous reactivations of this medicine days or weeks after, and this is normal with this medicine. So, if the person don't want to stand and do the medicine again, and they don't want to react to the petition or sometimes the order to no, I don't care, do it. It's for your own good. So, I've been physical. I've been kicking people in the butt. I've been slapping people in the face. Why? Because they signed a release form <clears throat> before the ceremony and they trust me as a therapist. If they want to have the experience with 5-MAO-DMT or toad medicine, they can go and do it with anyone else. But if someone comes and approach me in front of the pipe, I need to be sometimes strict with the people in order to help them. Not because I'm in bad mood and I'm just discharging my energy with anyone, okay? <laughs> Sometimes <clears throat> these guys don't want even to react to the physical uh, stimulation. So then I needed to use something else. And then I start to use a electric muscle stimulator that looks like a stun gun. <laughs> so when I buzz this thing, everyone is paying attention. And I don't need oh, really you know, sure. to boss <laughs> anyone. But this thing is completely harmless. This thing has a really loud voltages. And if I put it in your cheek or anywhere in your muscle, you will only have a muscle local con uh, con contraction. That is enough for the people to <clears throat> overcome the fear to do it the medicine because they are terrified for being ele electrocuted. So I'm using some kind of mind fuck to help people to overcome their fears. And then I expose him myself. Why? Because one, I allow people to record their ceremonies. I do my ceremonies in group. I don't do this private. There is nothing hidden. And it's normal that after people see that I'm kicking someone or that I'm using this kind of thing, they think that I'm torturing people and that I'm a maniac. But I don't have any sue after being in 37 countries and giving this to 8,000 people. But I am the worst person in the internet, in the forums. I've killed seven or eight people. I've done horrible things. I've, I've been accused in the internet, because all this is just in the internet, to rape girls, to steal money from people. And more than once I open in forums to say, hey, if there is anyone that I'm harmed directly, please, this is the moment. So far, none. There is one guy who is upset because their friends start to tease him. Hey, this guy was being disrespectful for you, with you. But the guy didn't even remember when I pitched him in the butt. And the truth is that we hugged before he left. So I haven't heard harm anyone. But people have suffered injuries during the toad medicine. Why? Because people roll, people bite themselves, people do horrible things, scratch themselves, and I've been beaten, punched in the face, but I will keep doing this work because I know that it's effective. And when a little kid is going to put the finger inside of the electric current, and you know that he's going to get hurt, you're not going to wait for him to put the finger there. You're going to go and say, no, don't do it. That's what I need to do. It's not something that I like. It's not something that I want, but I, someone needs to do it. And I'm doing it with my heart and with my love because I love people, I love planet, and I love myself. And no one did anything to help me. I did it by myself. And I'm doing it with love. Most part of, of my sessions are full of hugs. I've been also accused for kissing people, for hugging people. I mean, this is the wild, wild west. And I am completely open to be questioned, to have discussions, 
to give interviews because I've been doing my work openly all these years. So that's all that I want to say. Thank you.